Hi guys, Chris here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am in with an unboxing video. It was my birthday over the weekend, um, on the 28th of September. Happy birthday to me. And um, I just wanted to share a couple of bits that I picked up um, and was given for my birthday. So, um, a bit of a background, I actually was in Manchester the weekend before. So the weekend of the 20th. I met up with the gorgeous Rachel, um, or as she was known on YouTube as Rachiella and her incredible husband, Ryan. So if you guys watch, hi guys. Sorry about the glasses, my head is really sore. So the glare is hitting back on. But I had the best weekend with them. She so kindly let me stay with them, um, with her and Ryan. So Friday, I went down, we got there, had some dinner, caught up, just chatted for hours. Saturday, we went into Manchester. We went into the city. We went to Selfridges in the city. Went to Dior. I got a little bit drunk. Now I don't drink, but I got a little drunk on one glass of champagne. Oh, so that was an experience. Then we went from Dior to Louis Vuitton, picked up what you'll see today. And from there we went for lunch. And it was just, it was an all round lovely, lovely day. I didn't take, I didn't take many pictures. I didn't really take up, I actually didn't take any of Rachel, Ryan and I, which I'm gutted about. But Rachel and Ryan did manage to pick up something. Um, Ryan had picked up a graphite clay. So the little clay that I'd unboxed a couple of months ago, he picked up. And Rachel picked up a gorgeous new scarf. It was a successful day all round. Um, Sunday, we went to the local pub and we had Sunday lunch. And, you know, it was just such, such a lovely, lovely weekend. So guys, obviously a few weeks ago, I posted a video um, and had a little rant at the start of it of just about how, just about why I left doing YouTube videos and why I kind of fallen out of love with it a little bit. I had a really nice conversation with Rachel about the whole situation and about YouTube and about social media. And just to get that off my chest to Rachel and for someone that's come off YouTube um, for obviously for work and for comments as well. It was nice to sound it off of someone that's that's gone through this and that has been in a similar situation. Social media has so much backlash to it. People think that this is a negative space and it can be for what I'd spoke about in that video, for hate comments, for people living completely unrealistic lifestyles and promoting this to other kids. But for me, the majority of social media has been so, so positive. I've met people that I never ever would have met in my life. I've met, taking Rachel and Ryan as an example, I've met a husband and wife that are just the kindest, most down to earth, most genuine people that I've met in a long, long time. And to all three of us share a passion for luxury shopping and to have a conversation about it, it's, it's great. Social media can open doors for people and it can open up friendships and this is a friendship that I really, really value. Just getting a little bit salty, but um, as I said, I had a great weekend. So Rachel, Ryan, if you guys watch this, thank you so much. Um, anyway, I have blabbed on way too long. That was Manchester. I then came home, it was my birthday the following weekend, and I also went to Edinburgh today, um, just to have a little mooch around. I have a couple of things on my wish list, but I'm holding out because I think I told you guys before, Next year, I'm 30. So next year, I am buying a trunk. Um, and I really, really wanted just to have a look over it again, just to make sure that I'm making the right decision in colour, um, size, trunk as well, because it's a huge, huge investment. And that was also good to look at today. Um, I think I've showed you a picture of it. I think I've posted a picture on Instagram. I will pop a picture here, just so you can see what trunk I'm actually looking at. But um, yeah, so that, that was my day and that was my birthday. So um, without me blabbing on way too much, let me show you what I got. Okay, so guys, this is everything here. <laughs> it looks like a lot, but it's actually not that much. I, um, I didn't go that overboard. What we'll do is let's start with the Chanel because this isn't really, really that exciting. I mean, obviously everything's exciting because it's a birthday present. But to me, this is just, this isn't as exciting as these three items. So, without any further ado, first one. Um, so this is from Chanel in the Manchester 
Selfridges Boutique in the city. Obviously, this is not an item from Chanel. The queue at Chanel was huge. Like, it was so, so long. And I did say we'll go back later. I didn't go back. But when I went down the stairs, I had picked up some of the Boy Chanel products. Let's see, let's move you in there because I'm losing the light again. So I bought some of the Boy de Chanel foundation and I also bought the Boy de Chanel lip balm. Um, now I purchased these actually, I've purchased these already. I purchased them at some point through the year. This is when I took a little bit of a hiatus from YouTube so I didn't really show you guys what I bought. But I'll pop in some pictures of what this looks like just here. Um, but the consistency to this Oh my, it's just incredible. I haven't really experimented with foundation before. So when I found that there was a foundation specifically for boys, and obviously it's Chanel, I decided to jump on the bandwagon. And I'm so, so glad that I did because it is such a nice foundation. Now I'm aware there are probably cheaper alternatives to this out there, but um, I feel really comfortable buying this. It is a great colour, it doesn't wash me out, according to the girl that sold me it. Um, I got medium, medium light, which is great, and it is just in this really sturdy matte navy bottle. It's really, really luxurious. And when you open it up, you just have this little part here. There we go. And that is just the consistency of it there. What I'll maybe do is I'll pop some of my hands, just so you can see what I'm talking about. So, now obviously initially you're like, holy shit, that is way, way too warm. But, now I'm not a makeup person, so I don't know if that's done properly. But on my face, I think it looks really, really nice. So that's the foundation. So the Boy de Chanel Le Tint Foundation, <laughs> if we're being all French, in medium to light. So that's number 30. And then in the lip balm, again, I am fully aware that this is an extortionate lip balm. It's £32 for a freaking lip balm. When I love this, I love, I love other lip balms that are £2. <laughs> But again, this just goes back to what I said about how luxurious this feels. You know that it's quality. You know that it's nice and it's it's really sleek. I think it's really effective. 100% a sucker for this. Um, totally suckered into buying it just purely because of the name. But that's it there. So... Those are my two little pickups from Chanel. Okay, so let's move the camera to here. Oh, by the way, what do you guys think of these little things? So, this is from a company called West Home Interiors. They are a Scottish based company, and to be fair, this is a little pumpkin, and I did not realise how small this thing is. Look. So, I got these little guys to try and make it look a little bit bigger. Video thumbnail, I feel. Um, so I'm going to have a little display somewhere soon. But I thought, just given it's the 1st of October, I will fling these into the video. But anyway, I digress. So next item, um, let's go with this one here. This item, ah, this is from today. So this isn't a purchase. Um, well, actually, this is. So I'll show you this first off. Uh, I discovered Aesop. Aesop? when I was in Australia last year. I'm obsessed with their body butter or their body cream. Now Paul is obviously over in Sydney right now and he sent over a little care package of some Aesop stuff. But if you're watching this Paul, you didn't include this. So I put myself up the Aesop Rejuvenate Intensive Body Balm. Now I have really, really dry skin on my arms and this has helped to an extent, it's not completely cleared it up so if you do have really really dry skin like me it's maybe not a great option because there is there are so many more options that are a fraction of the price of this and will actually work 
but I love the smell of this. This is just so nice and I love the aesthetic. It just looks like an old paint tube. You know, the ones that when they roll it up to the end to use and it was just, yeah, it's really cute. And I just love the aesthetic of Aesop as well. Um, so I picked that up today. It's just from, from Edinburgh. But back to this one here. So if you guys remember, Last year, I purchased a few things for my birthday. I purchased the Brazza wallet, the Nice BB, the Catwalk book, and also I picked up a fragrance from Sydney called Lamensity. Now, I am obsessed with Lamensity. So when it ran out, obviously, I had to go and top it back up. So that's what I did today in Edinburgh. Um, that, and let's just put it in right, just so you can see. Okay, so. This is the receipt. Now, I thought the refill was cheaper, <laughs> but it's actually £115 to refill the aftershave. To be fair, it's better than 180 for a brand new bottle, so that's great. But um, yeah, I thought it was 90 quid. It's 115 Less than pounds. But as I said, I love this fragrance so much. So when they refill it for you, this is the little card that you get. Um, just says Lamentity Louis Vuitton with the Parfum. And this is the batch number. So what Neil, the store manager, had said that is if I was to break out in a rash with this um, after being refilled, um, this obviously links it back to the person that did it. And um, I don't know what happens. But uh, yeah, so that's it there. So it was Alana that did this for me. So thank you, Alana. Um, and that's that. Neil had also flung in some aftershave or fragrance samples. So we have Sun Song which came out earlier on this year, which is growing on me. So this is the yellow. So this is the collection that came out in the summer and it was in the collaboration with Alex Israel for the packaging. So it's really bright colours. So Sun Song has grown on me, so I'm obviously going to use that. And he also gave me Le Jour Célevi. So I don't know if this is a new one. But he says this is a woman's fragrance, but he still likes the, the notes in it and thinks that I really like it as well. So thank you, Neil. I will use both of these to test them out. <coughs> but back to this. So um, they kindly gave me in like a little drawstring dust bag. I refused to buy the, um, the case or the organizer, which will pop here. Um, I refused to buy this. What's I say this now. It'll probably grow on me and I'll probably want to buy it. So I'm never going to say never, but um, I just got my aftershave topped up. So the entity, and when I was in Sydney, I managed to get the little C stamp on there, which is obviously free of charge and they do it there and then. Just a quick one with the, um, with the stamps on your bottle. I learned this when I picked up Afternoon Swim, that you can only have three characters, whether it be letters or numbers, and you can't have a combination. So it's either A, B, C, or one, two, three, obviously, with your own combination. But um, yeah, so that was, again, not really a purchase, just a top up. Uh, next up is this little bag here. Now again, these have all been opened. Um, I obviously wanted to have a look at it for my birthday, which was on Saturday, so these are kind of re-unboxings. But this is what is in this bag here. We'll pull everything out first, just so we can get a good look. Okay, so firstly, textile cards. Um, just your standard little textile card here. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, next up came with this little little wrapping. It was nice. Um, yeah, just all wrapped up ever so nicely. And inside we have this here. So I said that I was not going to add another wallet to my collection this year, but... I did. <laughs> I got the blue Tigerama pocket organizer. Just insanely blue. This is without any editing or any filter on this. But you have this gorgeous blue interior and it just says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. Just like every pocket organizer you have, it is the same layout in all of them. You'll have three slots here, one down here. You've then got two back pockets that will extend the length of the organiser and you then have two little slip compartments here 
and with one in the back. And the nice thing with this, because it is Taigama, you obviously have your blue canvas on the front, which is beautiful, and it is really, really dark. So this is probably true to colour. It's a little darker than the ribbon, so just if that gives you a, a comparison. Um, but this is it here, so when you turn it slightly towards the light, you see the monograms, the monogram and the fleur-de-lis sort of clear itself up and be more, more clear. And on the back, you have the same, but this is where the taiga leather comes in. Um, this is obviously just blue taiga leather to tie in with taigarama, and the inside is taiga leather as well. So this is beautiful, this is such a nice little piece, such a great piece to add to the collection. So what I'll maybe do is I'll maybe, I might do an updated SLG collection for you guys because so many people ask me about SLGs, so um, stay tuned for that, so that'll probably one the, be the, one of the next videos. But um, yeah, so that's that there. This one is something that I picked up in Manchester, so let me just get... Oh actually, no sorry, not last but least. Oh my god. Okay, right, so I'm going to do two here. <laughs> okay, so this is not last. There's two more. Um, what one to start with? What one to start with? Um, I'll do a small one first. Okay, so let's put this here. Now, this item here, this is obviously not directly from an LV store. A little bit of a backstory on this. Now, if you remember when Virgil had first launched his soft trunks, the soft trunk came out in October with a few different accents to what we see in the soft trunk now. So a little different to my soft trunk. There was also a lock and key that came with this as well in the original one. So when I picked up my soft trunk, I was gutted that these changes had been made and some things were taken away. Now, I am a regular shopper and visitor of Vestier Collective. If you don't know what vest they are, I will pop their details here. They are a luxury website that deal in secondhand or unwanted luxury items. So think of it as a luxury eBay, but you can't really bid. You can make offers on things, but you can't bid. I just went into the new or arrived recently and obviously filtered it to Louis Vuitton and um, filtered it by date. And this came up and I was really, really stoked that I found this because as I said, I was gutted when they changed things on the um, on the trunk and I managed to get my hands on this item here from Vestier so this is what you get from Vestier just as this um, that's obviously the internal codes we sell items we only sell items we love and this so basically what happens to give you a brief overview it goes to Vestia to get authenticated and also to get approved. They go through your listing and make sure that your listing matches the item itself. Which is, again, it, it, it's so great. It gives me the best peace of mind that I don't need to worry about anything coming from Vestia because it's authentic and it's checked. I have loved every experience I've had. Anyway, I'm rambling on here. So, item, as you can probably tell, it's tiny. And I managed to get my hands on the matte... Oh my god, that's the oven. The matte black lock and key that I missed out on. So, I wonder if this is going to pick it up. So your lock just has LV and then leave it on Paris. How, how incredible is this lock? And then this just has a key number. Oops. This says 663. You're given two keys, obviously to correspond with said lock. And the keys as well are just totally matte black. So that was that item. Again, I love Vestia so much. I'll leave the details for Vestia down below and I'll link you to my little wish list and my profile just so you can see what I am after. So that was that there. Last but not least, this is what I picked up in Manchester. So again, nicely wrapped, receipt, blah, blah, blah. This is an item that I've seen. I have saw this item on Instagram quite a lot. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I have sold my pochette Voyage MM in Eclipse. I just thought it was, it was for me, it was getting too big. And this has been a great compromise. So I managed to pick up the pochette Discovery, 
in Eclipse. So I can do a what fits inside later on, and this is just an unboxing video of it first. But I have the Apollo um, pochette from the Upside Down collection from last year, and it's great, it's, um, it's lovely, but it doesn't have compartments, and I feel that when I take a wallet with me, it just it bulks it out way too much. So this is a great compromise. So you have your monogram Eclipse canvas outside, which is gorgeous and black. You have this little D-ring to which I saw so many people attach a key ring. So I think I actually might want to try and purchase a key ring for this because I just think it would look nice. And um, this is the front. You just have your Louis Vuitton Paris tab here. That's a little dirty, sorry. Um, I haven't used this yet. It has just been kept in its box, but I've obviously looked at it. Um, this is what I picked up when I was down with um, Rachel and Ryan. And on the back, again, monogram eclipse with your lovely black tab. The hardware is totally silver. Again, I love this hardware so, so much. If you followed me for a while, you'll know that I am a sucker for silver hardware and I love the chunkiness. And when you open it up inside, um, here's the... That's the SKU codes and also your textile cards. Um, the inside of it, this is what it's attracted me to at the most. Um, so the inside part, I'm going to pop the flash on for this one, but the inside part you have card holders and this is what I needed so much because the Apollo, as I said, it's the same size-ish, but I feel that when I have the Apollo full of a wallet, it's just too bulky. So inside you just have your microfiber, not microfiber, just this fabric lining. And you've then got a card slot at the back. So it's just this leather tab that has one, two, three card slots and also a pocket at the rear. I, this will be a great compromise. As I said, I haven't quite used it. I not, not quite, I just haven't used it at all yet. But I think it will be a great compromise for me from trying to carry around the Discovery MM because that was way, 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 way too big. But, um, so yeah, that's that's my other pickup and that's that's everything there. But uh, yeah, so guys, that's that's everything I got for my birthday. Um, as I mentioned, I am going to do a couple of little videos. Um, if you do have a request for videos, please leave them below or even just send me a, a message on Instagram. I have quite a lot of videos to work through and as I said, I have a few pre-recorded. Um, so, I'm going to try and upload them as best I can. I need to edit some as well. I think my next video, just given what I've got here, will probably be an updated SLG collection. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.